Our ancestors were courageous warriors. They stood proud in their moccasins and their bow guards. They believed with all their hearts to sustain lives of balance and humility. They sang and prayed for their future generations. They wanted us to be positive and to be united. They wanted their children to be about hope, respect, unity, and to be brave young men and young women. They are no longer with us, but the spirit of their songs and their prayers are still among us, and now it's today. As a Navajo nation, we have progressed educationally, mentally, spiritually, and our modern day warriors. We have adapted and adopted new ways. As a Navajo nation, we celebrate our youth through sports. In this way, we have kept our competitive spirit alive and healthy. In our communities across Indian country, we have learned basketball, in other words, res ball. This legacy dribbles forward on the Navajo Nation, but today we focus on a community rich in spirit and support, the Windrock Fighting Scouts. This year has been a really exciting um, uh, season for our boys. Um, it's been it's such an upbeat uh, season to where, um, I mean, every single game, it seems like it's been selling out. And um, you, you, we get so much attention that um, you'll just be walking down the street or just anywhere in the mall. People will just come up to you and ask you about the game and when the next game is and you're like, wow. And um, it's it's just an exciting year for us, and and I think the the parents, the rest of the parents feel the same way, um, especially with the 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 two sophomores that are on the team. I mean, they really pull a long way, along with Ephraim, and they really step up during the games when Eddie wasn't there. So I mean, that's a big accomplishment, and I I recommend or commend their parents for um, having that um, influence on their kids too. When the boys come out, uh, I mean, that's, you know, it's all nothing but basketball, play ball. I mean, um, everybody goes crazy when the, balls, uh, when the boys come out. Uh, uh, I do my stuff. I get carried away. I get, you know, when the music comes on, I'm like right there dancing with the wife. And she doesn't want to dance, but I do.
policía lo sigue matando. El enemigo es el mismo racimo, la mira, la ignorancia y el gobierno. Si eres chingón, levanta las armas, defiende la raza. Yeah. I don't feel anything wrong with Fort Defiance, Arizona. I, that's my hometown and I feel proud of it. Back in 18 summer, it used to be a fort. That's how they called this Fort Defiance. Hi, my name is Gil Kloschi. I'm a Windrock High School Fighting Scouts head boys basketball coach. Uh, we're having a great season this year. Right now we're sitting at a 18 and four. We're 11 and one in conference. Just a little um, insight to our, our basketball team. We're a very good running basketball team. We're, we're kind of small for a basketball team, but we can play hard defense. We run a lot. We push the ball up. You ever seen the Phoenix Suns? We play a lot like the Phoenix Suns. So, the, you know, we got a good team running here. And, it, you know, it, it's been fun. It's been fun. The whole area, Fort Defiance, Windrock area, Sawmill, they were very excited about our basketball team right now. <laughs> Yes, hello, my name is uh, Tim Arviso. I am the uh, junior varsity basketball coach with the Wonder Rock High School boys basketball program. And I also assist uh, with the uh, varsity boys. Uh, I, I, I did play here quite some time ago. And uh, this is home for me. And it's been, uh, it's, it's been really fun. It's been a great experience, uh, especially when you have uh, determined athletes and uh, you know, athletes who are, who are very talented. Our job is to uh, help, help these athletes, student athletes, any way we can to, to reach their goals and, and to push them to get to the next level. You know, whether it be varsity or uh, uh, junior varsity freshmen, you know, we always uh, we want them to, to, to make it a goal of theirs and to strive to get to that next level. You know, that should be every, every freshman's dream is, is playing for the varsity team. Uh, you know, especially here at Winderock, where uh, basketball, you know, is, is king. Seniors are showing a lot of leadership for the younger kids. Since we only have seniors and sophomores, they're good role models for our kids, and I constantly talk to them about that. You know, keeping your emotions under control, um, showing the younger kids how it's done, how you're supposed to act. You know, not just on the court, but off the court. Well, this is their team, and it's their year, and you know, we have, these kids are so mentally focused, and I haven't seen this in a long time here at Window Rock High School. They're so mentally focused, they want it so bad, they're gonna go to whatever you know, extremes they need to. Um, and you know, again, it goes back to leadership. They're gonna pick up the young kids. They know what the young kids can do. The talent is there, they see it. So they're willing to work with it, and it's not, nothing selfish. It's all a team, we're a big, happy family together. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, my name is Ephraim Sloan. Oh, I'm a senior yeah, at Winter Rock High School, and I play for the boys varsity basketball team, which I am a point guard. In my heart, I will always be a champion. Hello, my name is Ryan Edison. I'm currently a 12th grader at Winter Rock High School. Any mountain I can climb. I'm Darren Monroe Pine. I play for um, the New Rock Scouts basketball team. Sometimes I play post or guard. And I live in Fort Defiance, Arizona, and I'm a senior this year. In my heart, I will always be a champion. My name is Monty Steven Hatothi. I go to Wonder Rock High School. I'm the center for the varsity basketball team, and I reside in. St. Michael's, Arizona. Anytime or anywhere, tell me now I will be there, cause I'm gonna be. I'm Terrence McKay from Winderock High School, 
and I play for the Windrock Fighting Scouts. Winter Rock has excellent, uh, an excellent group of um, players this year. Um, just so much talent, just so much talent from both groups uh, of teams. And, you know, I really wish that and hope and know, and I know and I believe that there is that, you know, Division I, Division II talent on both squads. And that, you know, with the support of their families and coaches and administrators, I think the students have that potential to play at that college level and to pursue their education. The obstacles is that even though we're a small town and we, this basketball team has a lot of talent in that we can do so much with it, all we have to do is just keep playing and just keep mm -hmm. People keep helping people remember us that we're a fast team. Even though we're small, we're still fast, and that no one could stop us. I've been playing um, basketball for 13 years. 13 years ever since I was small. Grew up in an athletic family, and they just gave me a ball, a little ball, smaller to this, and I just play around, they dribble around around the house and just doing basic stuff and just um, doing what I can do as a little kid trying to grow up and play basketball watching my grand my uncle play, Mark Lennison and Aaron play so I looked up to them and also the the other varsity players that were at the high school currently at the high school and growing up an eighth grader I watch the, the JV or not JV varsity play every game and that helped me um, Help me make make me a better player just growing up, and that's where basically everything started ever since I was a freshman. Playing with Ephraim and Ryan Edison, I knew we were going to have a pretty good team. They're two of the top guards in the league, and I, um, I just did as much as I could to prepare off the court, get as much practice in before the season comes, because I knew we would have a pretty good season this year. And being a role model and me like this is, I'm loving it. Every 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 second of it. Anything that happens, I have little kids running up to me asking autographs. People saying I know E, I know I know him. I seen him play. He's cool. Little kids want to have pictures with me, and especially the elderly people. These grandmas coming up to me calling me Yaj, and it's just which means son in Navajo. I died from yeah. My name is Dave Mitchell and I'm a sophomore and I play guard for Windrock High School. Just watching these guys play like since middle school and uh, I'm just looking up to uh, Eddie and E. Yeah, those guys are like uh, inspiration to me. Yeah, nice. Uh, it's just a, a dream, just playing with them. Growing up a Native American, it's it's hard just growing up every day and not being physically fit and getting the height, and that's what we gotta do on our own. And I have a weight room back here, and that's what I do every day from practice and coming off of a leg injury too, and that's, that sucks, and it's really hard for me just to watch them play and not to be out there. So that's what I utilize my stuff out, out here and what I do and for the Native Americans. My goals after high school, basically right now, is just to play college ball. I just get as far as I can in that. And people have been telling me ever since freshman year and there beyond, like, they were saying, you can play college ball. I know you can. I know you can make it that far. Do your best because even though you're living your dream, 
it's still gonna fly by fast. I just remember when I was a freshman playing J freshman ball and now varsity. It, it hurts just knowing that this is my last year playing high school basketball. I look at I look up to them also, especially my brother. I look up to my brother a lot, and they really they just let them know they're really good role models for us. And when we practice, we try to play up to our potential, and we want to play good like them. And yeah. wonderful to see all these people here for one purpose to support our youth who are doing such a beautiful job displaying their talents and their passions for most I would say almost 6,000 Navajos who were here this evening and imagine tomorrow evening and I just like to say I'm very proud of you all as Miss Navajo Nation if you have. Ladies and gentlemen, My name is Tanya I'm from Tailey, and I'm here to um, support all the teams because I think it's really fun, amazing, cool. <laughs> Throughout this whole duration, we've been talking about dedicated fans. We're just coming back from the first night of the 3A North Regional Basketball Tournament, and as, as you can see, we have backed up traffic. A lot of supportive um, people from different respective communities coming out to support their local basketball teams on this road. We have uh, the Ganado Hornets, and then we have the um, Winslow Bulldogs, and also the Winrock Fighting Scouts heading back home, all on the same road. And this, the traffic's backed up for miles and miles. Uh, the, the, the nearest community to us is Ganado, Arizona, and we're still about a good 25 miles uh, from Ganado. So it's going to be bumper to bumper the whole time, all because of reservation basketball. Well, it's, it's a good feeling. It's like the best feeling in the world, knowing you got that much people supporting you and and that's behind you. And and when I run out there, and I'm, I just got a really good, really good feeling. And and I just want to do my best for my team and the fans and my community. The girls, like some of them are here. They're supporting the team and they just they just want to see the boys win the championship and take home the trophy again. My name is uh, Pascal White. Um freshman coach. I'm assistant to um, Gil Taishchi. Yeah, we're playing for our uh, district regional championship tonight against the Winslow Bulldogs. Our record is uh, I believe it's twenty one and four. We haven't lost a game since um, December uh, 28th, 29th. So the boys have been playing pretty good. I'm proud of all of them, the players, and all the scouts and whatnot. So I, I like all the scouts and the coaches. Uh, we saw the white and, and pleasing my son. My name is Sanjita Harvey and I come from Fort Defiance. Um, uh, Came from Wonder Rock and my favorite player is Ryan Nissen because he's a good rebounder and a good three-pointer shooter. And and I stay nine o'clock in the morning just to get scout tickets. Scouts number one. Let's go, Let's go. Let's go. Butterflies in my stomach. Um, it's a big game for my son, and we've been waiting for this for four years, so we're finally here. So I have butterflies in my stomach, but I have confidence in my baby to do it. Oh, see, does that star spangled
It is to every one of a thousand kids, to non natives, the nation's earth, and traditional and powwow kids, everyone. Women, elder, mother, father, and son. Even if I bother some, my people think I'm on one. I am running a race for my race so they can realize the rightful place and embrace the identity that for a century was misplaced. Colonization and all the nations on a scale full blown. Taking three year olds away from home, brainwashing them until they grow. Mom and dad kept the braids, daughter and son left the ways through the cultural genocide of identity and pride. We're left astray from the buffalo to the boarding schools, being free to the blood pools to the Church priest in the cordial It was physical, mental, sexual, and emotional Through this we cried an ocean full of tears that was supposed to pool They made it from a mind, but our blood, they couldn't clear it Their mission was a failure because they couldn't kill our spirit And we were alive, we survived, even though it wasn't televised 500 years they couldn't break us, we looked through these same eyes War heroes, heroes unsung, were you there? You can still hear their war cries resonate through the air Through this breath of mine, I take us death of pride It was pressed upon my people to question mine because we're left to rise incredible feeling I mean this is where I knew we'd always be from the start once I got these kids this great bunch of kids yeah, I don't know it's I'm so happy for our fans I'm so happy for the kids I'm so happy for my dad presenting the trophy to the Winter Rock Scouts Miss Navajo Nation Jocelyn Billy
It feels good. Regional champions, we worked real hard. We all worked as a team and we all deserve this. We worked so hard for it. Uh, hi, I'm Josh. Uh, I'm a guard for Winter High School Varsity Boys, number 20. Um, right now, we're real, real happy that we're seated number one. Um, I don't know what to say. So we did it as a team. We're all happy. Hi, uh, I'm Brandon Lee, host for the Varsity Boys, number four. And I'm very excited also. <laughs> My name is Darren Mitchell, and I'm a guard for uh, Winter Rock Varsity High School Basketball Team. And I'm just speechless right now. <laughs> and yeah, I'm good. Uh, My name is Christopher Talwiz, a guard for Winter Rock Boy Scouts. Hi, my name is Jacob Collidy. I'm the class of 2004 from Wonder Rock High School. I got the privilege to play with both Ephraim Sloan and Ryan Edison. They were both freshmen when I was on the senior team, and it's just good to see how the leadership and the talent that they um, have throughout these three years and pass it along upon the rest of the younger squad. So hopefully this program will go as it started in 2004. Thank you, and Fighting Scout Pride. Yeah, I'd like to um, encourage some of the, uh, the parents. They're, it's all over. Not only what's in Fort Defiance, not only what's in Wonder Rock. It's all over. They have great players from different, different areas. And some of them are making their way into college. And some of them are playing ball. I'd like for our young generation to be recognized too. In a college, university basketball. Not only that, up further, maybe MBA somewhere. That's my wishes for our Navajo people and the youngster.